is the Senior Open champion once again. And he now becomes the most successful senior golfer of all time. Ten major championships. I got into it through my brother. He was five years older and started to caddy, and he came home with a few Deutschmarks every time he got a bag. And we come from a poor family, so uh, I, when I was eight and a half, I said, would you please take me along? I need to earn some money, too. I want to have a bit of spending money. Uh, so it was really the love of money that got me into the game, but uh, it didn't take long for me to, to fall in love with the game of golf. And we were allowed to play as caddies I was very fortunate, my first bag I ever caddied was the club champion at the course, and he, said, he liked me so much. He said, you're gonna be my regular caddy all the time now, so whenever I play, I will ask for you and you'll be my caddy. So that was a thrill for me. It's a lot more fun watching a scratch golfer play than a handicap 30 or something like that. So uh, that, that was a good uh, experience for me. And then, you know, playing as a caddy a lot, when I finished school, I became an assistant pro, teaching golf and learning the trade, the pro shop, fixing clubs, running tournaments. I uh, didn't go to college, but uh, looking back, I think it was a good decision. There were no German golfers before me that had any success on any tour. So where I grew up uh, out in the countryside on this little nine hole golf course, there was no one really I could model myself after. And we golf wasn't on television at the time in Germany either. So it was difficult to see anything. Uh, there were maybe only one golf magazine. So at some point I saw a swing sequence of Jack Nicholas, but he was much taller than me and, you know, totally different swing. Uh, so when I, later on in life, I met Gary Player. I think I was 17 or 18, uh, played the British Open and he was uh, playing a practice round with me. And there was a guy, he was my size, fit, loved the game. And I thought, oh, this, he's phenomenal. He's, he's going to be my hero. So I've been kind of following him all these years. The only time I looked at the leaderboard uh, on that day was after the ninth hole. I thought I played the front nine fairly good. I think I was even par. And the front nine is very difficult for me. Uh, so I thought I made up a little bit of ground. But when I looked at the leaderboard, I saw I lost ground. So I was two shots behind starting. Now I'm four shots behind. And as I walked to the 10th tee and looking at that leaderboard, I'm going, I have to shoot lights up. I, I have to be so aggressive. I got to make birdies and eagles and just whatever. I, I didn't want to be second or third or any of that. I wanted to win. And I was fortunate to actually, I think I made five birdies the next eight holes and then I bogeyed the last. Uh, which together with the leaders making mistakes, I made up a, a lot of ground and I actually had a two shot lead on the 18th tee. So that was a big turnaround. So I was fortunate to make lots of birdies, make some good shots and putts. So many and it's not really one that stands out but uh, if, if you want one then I have to say um, winning the, the Masters on Easter Sunday in 1993 my second Masters and putting the check green jacket on uh, when we celebrate Easter Sunday Uh, 
81 didn't hurt quite as much because I was still a bit young, maybe not quite ready to win a major. And, and I was probably, I don't know how many shots behind, like four or five at the end. But 84, 84 hurt a lot. I was paired with Seve at St. Andrews, second last group out, and uh, Seve ended up winning uh, the British Open. I finished second with Tom Watson. And uh, what I remember is I outplayed Seve from tee to green. I was quite a bit better tee to green, but he outpotted me. And that's why he won and I didn't. And so that one stunned. And then 85, I had a two-shot lead with David Graham going into Sunday. And we both didn't play very well. I missed a short putt on the first hole, got a bad break on the third hole when I hit some spectators or, or a marshal's foot and it went the wrong way. And so that one hurt too. Yeah. But you know, it, you try your best, you give it your best. And I had another great chance, I think it was in 2001 when David Duval won. Yeah, so there, there were a few chances and I always thought I would win a British Open, but I never did. I won the senior British Open, so that's the next best thing. I might have gotten to a little better even. I think uh, my swing is better now than it was 20 years ago. Uh, technically more sound. I probably drive the ball better than I did then. And uh, my whole game has gotten to be pretty, pretty solid all around because of the swing changes I've made. So uh, that's enabled me to be very consistent and uh, win a lot of tournaments and be in the top three or five on, a, on many occasions. It is Bernhard Langer who stands alone in PGA Tour Champions history, the first and only player to win all five senior majors. Well, 2017 was a phenomenal year for me, uh, it was a magical year for me and uh, very blessed and very fortunate uh, to get the Golf Riders Award uh, one more time. I've already had it, I think, two or three times before, so it, it's been a wonderful career. I love the competition, I like to be under the stress and under the heat of the, the gun and, and you know that's what we practice for and whatever I do I want to do it well uh, so when I'm out playing golf I want to do the best I can and it's more fun winning than losing. <laughs> It'd be cool to you know win a, a few more majors uh, maybe a few more tournaments and possibly another player of the year or something like that those are the goals that I've had the last few years and very fortunate to, to achieve some of them. Uh, right now I've won 10 senior majors, uh, more than anybody, even Jack Nicklaus, and it'd be nice to maybe add one or two more to that. I played in 10 of them and uh, many of them were great, great memories. If I have to go with one, I probably have to say being the captain in 2004 uh, and winning on American soil, which was the first victory for the European team ever on American soil and we won it with a record margin as well. They've been a phenomenal sponsor of the game of golf worldwide. Uh, in most of the majors and many big tournaments in the Ryder Cup and uh, I'm actually wearing the Rolex watch that uh, I was able to give to all my players when I was the Ryder Cup captain in 2004 and I still wear it because it means so much to me and it's very special. <laughs>